Hi, my name is Betty Ann Thomas, and I am with the Office of Planning and Assessment here at Texas Tech University. I am pleased to present this training video to assist department chairpersons with running annual faculty reports. Typically, department chairs run reports for their faculty members sometime in late January, and unique templates are available in digital measures for just about every college on campus. Our office received a request to simplify running the reports, specifically to allow quicker selection of whom to include. We have prepared a solution that we believe will help. First, select the correct report from the DM dropdown under Reports. Next, you will select the parameters for running the report. Select the date range you would like to include. Normally, this will be January 1 to December 31 for the past calendar year. Select whom to include. Under Users Selected By, the default is All. Click on Change Selection to narrow your results. A new option, Full-Time, Part-Time, is available. Normally, you will choose just full-time faculty since those are the faculty you need to complete an annual evaluation for. Be sure to click Save when you are finished making your selections. Regarding Include These Accounts, leave the selection as Enabled Only. Next, under Report Options, choose whether to include graduate students. Normally, you will not include those. Simply click the check mark in that box to deselect those students. Finally, make any changes with the file format you would like your report to have. The default options are usually good here. You are now ready to run your report. The report may take a short time to populate. Then it will typically appear as a Word document at the bottom of your screen. Double-click it to open. This is an example of a first page of an annual report. Here is something to consider when running annual faculty reports. The faculty rank instructor is somewhat problematic because instructors can be either full or part-time. If you selected only full-time faculty members in the parameters you selected earlier, and if you have part-time instructors who need to be evaluated, you will need to go back and select individual part-time instructors by name. Names can be accessed through the individual drop-down within Whom to Include parameter. Here is a hint about clicking the boxes within the report parameters. Click on the forward arrow next to the box, not on the box. This will bring up all choices but not select them. Here is what happens if you click on the box. This can be frustrating if you have to deselect all choices before choosing what you really want. We hope these instructions help as you run annual faculty reports. If you need any assistance, please contact me at 834-5890 or by email. Thank you.